that's going to take a drive to Dorchester, to the Erie Pub, where the barkeeps still wear uniforms, the sandwiches are thick, and the whiskey and beer flow freely. We meet up with Mike's friend and sometime bandmate, the artist formerly known as Mink Jaguar, Mink Rockmore, and currently Mink Entry. So, how long have you known this guy? High school. Also from Hingham? No. No, it's... How does it work here? What, where, where does this all go back to? So the ugly truth is finally yanked, still bleeding from a dark fistula of deceit. Mike's from what you'd call a more lace curtain background basically commuting to the mean streets of Boston. Over Guinness and beef barley soup, we discuss the old days. Who was big in Boston as you were out there? We were a hard rock and rock band at a time when a New Kids thing was going on. It was like, whatever was happening, we weren't here. We, of course, are the rock band, so please give it up for us. Thank you very much. band were in their heyday of the late 80s and early 90s something of a legend achieving the supreme honor of having been almost universally banned in boston their performance was so allegedly rowdy so bestial that they frequently had to change their names to get work banned in boston we were banned from all kinds of clubs and why why were you banned in boston what specific activities there was some gobbing spitting on people right. one of our fans threw some kind of rat or hamster <laughs> That was gross. People are throwing frozen rodents at you. Perhaps their drummer's reputation as a free spirit hurt their public profile. But I think for us, a lot, a lot of times it was a, a lack of being able to uh, get across why this is happening. Because I'm sure people would understand. It was. They, well, there was a perfectly reasonable explanation exactly. to everything that was occurring at these days. That's right. Yes. If the owners had only listened. <laughs> owner after owner after owner. But their road to the top seemed blocked at every turn by small-minded, close-minded suits who just didn't, it seems, understand and greatness. That all the reeking, bleeding, drunken, phlegm encrusted mayhem was in fact a post-ironic commentary on the times. Meta, if you will. That is the roughest thing about the travel. Not having a place to take a good yeah. Yeah. So you've got a, a good solitary <laughs> with some, some kind of a dignity to, to right. the, to the procedure. Important. Thank you. Maybe there's a gas station. Probably there isn't. There's nothing like you pull up into a gas station with the little convenience store or the bathroom, and there's one person back there rolling the hot dogs on the thing, and you walk in, you you know, like, you're running. You run right into the bathroom. You make some horrifying, explosive <laughs> noise. You come out of there knowing that this terrifying waft, this stench is going to follow you out the door. And you're like on your way to the Hey, so, hey, thanks. What do you do? Say thanks? You know what I do? I just walk out, leave a $5 bill on the counter. <laughs> Buy yourself something nice. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about the damage. <laughs> <laughs>